And welcome to This Is Now. We begin with the very latest on the Mililani Malka wildfire, which is now burning for a third straight day. We received this photo from HFD's drone team minutes ago. This is an overhead look of how the fire is seen from up above. HFD suspended its operations overnight. Back at it this morning throughout the entire time, though, the drone team was keeping watch. Here's how it looks from up above. Now, it continues to grow, albeit very slowly, charring more than 700 acres. Containment remains at 30%. Casey Lund was in the neighborhood this morning and has the very latest. Aloha from Kapanoi Street here in Mililani Malka. This is really as close as we're able to physically get to that wildfire, the Mililani Malka wildfire. Uh, but we've been up here throughout the day and there is a lot of ash on the ground. There's ash on the sidewalk and as you see cars driving by, ash on vehicles. And here's why. Take a look at just how much smoke is being put out by this wildfire. Yesterday it grew to 700 acres. This morning HFD was able to get up in their uh, Air One helicopter and do an assessment to get an idea of how it grew overnight. They had drone teams flying over that fire, keeping an eye on things uh, to see how it developed into the nighttime hours. Of course, those air resources that they've been using are not able to fly at night. HFD, again, using their Air One for bucket drops. They also had assistance from the Hawaii National Guard with their Chinook helicopter flying for about eight hours yesterday, dumping some 45,000 gallons of water on the fire. We know that there's some farms that are closer to the wildfire than any of the homes are here in Mililani Malka, but we still know uh, as far as HFD has told us, no structures are threatened. It's pretty far up in that Kipapa Gulch, but because it's so far up there, that terrain really difficult. There's no real access for vehicles, for fire engines, or for hand crews, so they've been having to battle this fire uh, from the sky. We also know that it is creating health concerns. We know that some folks have been treated with smoke inhalation, and that's not surprising if you're waking up uh, or going to bed at night in Mililani Malka, really uh, a lot of parts of central Oahu, you are well aware of the smoke that's lingering in the air and we're not getting a lot of relief from the wind. Now part of that is good because that wind's not moving the wildfire along, but it's also letting that smoke sit in the valley, sit in central Oahu and linger. So that's causing some folks some health problems. Reminder, if you have respiratory issues, you're asthmatic, to stay indoors as much as you can and of course rely on EMS if you're short of breath or you get in trouble physically, but best to just stay indoors as much as you can until that fire is a little bit more under control and some of the smoke moves out of the area. And also a reminder for residents, after having several days of heavy smoke, it's important that you change your air filter in your home. Those are gonna get very dirty uh, with all the smoke that's been hanging around for the last few days. Of course, we're gonna stay on top of this. It is not showing signs that it's coming down closer to any of these neighborhoods, but with the dry conditions we have, and of course with the recent tragedy over on Maui, it's definitely a cause for concern, something we should all pay attention to, and that's what we're doing here at Hawaii News Now. Reporting in Mililani Malka, I'm Casey Lund. For now, we'll send things back into the studio. And just a reminder, the Hawaii Emergency Management Agency and the city conducted siren tests at 1145 today as the wildfire above Mililani Malka continues to burn officials remind the public it was only a test the fire remains in a remote mountainous area and does not pose a threat to any structures